Hello friends, let's solve today one activity based question from the topic linear equations in two variables. The question is complete the following table in which three columns are given over here. In the second column various equations are given and we have to decide is the given equation a linear equation in two variables or not. So the first example which, which is solved over here. 4m plus 3n that's equals to 12 and it is given that it is a linear equation in two variables. So as we know that linear equation in two variables its standard form is ax plus by plus c that's equals to 0. So this is the standard form of linear equation in two variables as there are two variables involved in this equation that is x and y that's why it is called as linear equation in Two variables and along with it a b and c are any three real numbers now there is one condition that a and b must not be equals to 0 at the same time so if either a is equal to 0 or b is equal to 0 it happens in a certain linear equation that's okay but at the same time it must not be equal to 0 because if it is there then both the terms that is ax and by will become 0 and we get only the constant term that would be equation where no variable is involved so that's why the condition is given there that a and b must not be equal to 0 at the same time so we have to use this general form of linear equation in two variables to decide whether the given equations are linear equations in two variables or not so let us consider the second equation we have 3x square minus 7y that's equals to 13. So in this case as we can observe two variables are there x and y. So the first condition is satisfied but the degree of this equation is 2 because the highest power of its variables is 2 as x square is there. So that's why the highest power of this equation is 2 that means degree of this equation is 2 therefore it is a quadratic equation and it is not a linear equation. So 3x square minus 7y is equal to 13 is a quadratic equation that's why it is not a linear equation. Let's come to the next equation root 2 into x minus root 5 into y that is equal to 16. So here again two variables are there x and y and though root 2 and root 5 are irrational number they are only the coefficients of the variables x and y. So we can have these coefficients any real number. So if it is root 2 and root 5 it's okay. It is a linear equation in two variables. So this is also a linear equation in two variable that is root 2x minus root 5y is equal to 16. Let us consider the next equation 0 into x plus 6y minus 3 is equal to 0. So if we compare this equation with the standard form ax plus by plus c is equal to 0, we can observe that the value of a is 0 plus 6y minus 3 is equal to 0. So in this equation out of a and b only one value is 0. So it's okay we can, we can express the first term which involves the variable x into as 0 into x plus 6y minus 3 that is equal to 0. So here two variables are there and only one and only one coefficient of the variable is zero so it is also a linear equation in two variable so it can be possible that the values of coefficients of x and y that is a and b may be zero that is we can have any one of the values zero but we cannot have both the values 0 at the same time. So here in the fourth equation only one value is 0 so that's why it is also a linear equation. Now consider the next one 0.3x plus 0y minus 36 is equal to 0. In this case also we have two variables and the coefficient of the second variable is 0 so that's okay. So this is also a linear equation in two variable. That is 0.3x plus 0y minus 36 is equal to 0 is a linear equation. Now if you consider the next 4 divided by x plus 5 divided by y is equal to 4. Now at present if we observe this we may see that there are two variables x and y 
and the indices of both of these variables are 1. So we may feel that it is a linear equation in two variables. But if we simplify this one, that is, if we have 4 divided by x plus 5 divided by y, that is equal to 4. Now if we simplify this, we get 4 into y, that's 4y plus 5 into x, that's 5x divided by x into y, that's xy is equal to 4. Now if we take xy to the right hand side, it will be 4y plus 5x is equal to 4 into xy, that's 4xy. If we take 4xy to the left hand side and if we rearrange these terms, we get 5x plus 4y minus 4xy is equal to 0. If you take 4xy to the left hand side, it will become minus 4xy. Now if you consider this equation, 5x plus 4y minus 4xy, there are three terms in it, 5x, 4y and minus 4xy. If we consider the degree of this polynomial, 5x plus 4y minus 4xy, the last term has two variables, x and y, and both of these have powers 1. So 1 plus 1, the, the highest power in this polynomial is 2. So the degree of any linear equation cannot be 2. So that's why this equation is not a linear equation because the degree of this equation is 2. In the last equation also, we have 4 into xy minus 5y minus 8 is equal to 0. So here also in the first term, if we try to find the highest power of variables in it, for the first term, the if we add the powers of x and y, we get 2. That's why degree of this polynomial is 2 again, which is not possible for a linear equation. So the last equation 4xy minus 5y minus 8 is equal to 0. It is also not a linear equation in two variable. So this is how we can decide whether the given equation is a linear equation or not by comparing the given equation with the general form ax plus by plus c is equal to 0. So I hope you understand this concept. Thanks for watching.